Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you, Greg, for setting up this uh, historic event with my fellow county executive. Hard to believe that uh, 50 years have gone by uh, since the IDA was created. The IDA uh, was uh, critical in uh, attracting Cummins Engine uh, to uh, Chautauqua County, uh, among other things. It started with the story of a traveling salesman. He had stopped uh, in the town of Busti at a gas station that was owned and uh, operated by John Siggins. During the uh, time that that tra the traveling salesman, who happened to be a salesman of industrial product, he had mentioned that Art Metal was vacant and had been for uh, three years, and they were uh, looking for an occupant, high-level uh, industrial uh, owner. He, he mentioned that uh, to Siggins and uh, to Earl Lawson, who happened to be a town councilman, town of Busti councilman, happened to be there. He immediately called me. I was a uh, town supervisor at the time, town of uh, Busti. As soon as uh, I heard the news, I called a emergency meeting. They definitely indicated that uh, the board was interested. Uh, and I, by the way, I, I happen to have been chairman of the uh, county uh, legislature at the time. I, ha I had uh, I wore two hats. Uh, the next morning, I got a hold of Bill Miller, who was our uh, industrial development manager. And together we called uh, Cummins Engine to verify that they indeed uh, were on the search, and they were. One of the people who uh, came to Chautauqua County on behalf of Cummins Engine was uh, Craig uh, Colburn, and the other was Richard Ellison, who was the plant uh, manager to be. He and others came to Chautauqua County and visited the art metal plant. And as soon as he walked into the plant, he and the others saw rubbish and dead birds on the floor of the building. And uh, Allison said uh, to uh, Dave Dawson, who was then our industrial representative, that, look, you get this place cleaned up in 30 days and we'll come back uh, to check it out. Dave Dawson uh, was quite uh, uh, creative. He uh, went to Maplehurst Country Club, borrowed golf carts, the uh, wagons. In 30 days, they did, he and others, uh, did clean up what was then uh, art metal. Any of you who lived here back in 1974 uh, know that back then, that the, the bridge in front of or close to Art Metal was a rickety old wooden bridge that uh, w would not uh, really carry the uh, heavy trucks that were carrying the huge engines. So one of the guarantees that the county made was that if the state uh, would not carry out its promise to build a driveway from Baker Street to the plant, Chautauqua County would step in their shoes and accomplish that, which uh, we, we, we did. But one of the things that attracted them uh, the most was our manpower training funds that would be paid out to the early employees uh, to train them in this new team approach. And that was a major attraction of Cummins Engine. After Cummins Engine committed to and, and then came to Chautauqua County, other industries felt uh, comfortable to either expand or uh, to uh, come to Chautauqua County and set up uh, their business. Two of the exciting adventures that the county uh, undertook, establishment of a county landfill and allocation of a portion of 
that landfill for industrial purposes. At, at one time, we had uh, in Chautauqua County, 44, 45 open dumps from Jamestown to uh, Dunker and uh, other towns and municipalities. Uh, I can remember uh, attending a public meeting in Dunker. They had a, a terrible problem regarding landfill. As a matter of fact, they had a, literally a mountain building, rubbish and, and the like. At the town meeting, one of the uh, constituents came up with a plastic bag. He tossed that on the desk in front of the committee that was holding the public hearing. And in it contained a dead rat. And he said that this mountain of rubbish housed quite a few such animals. In Jamestown, I remember there was a constant burning of uh, rubbish day after day after day and you could see the smoke rising above uh, the horizon of the city. So the county landfill uh, served a, a very critical purpose. We managed to zero in on and close those 45 open uh, dumps. Another interesting adventure that the county undertook uh, dealt with the construction of a bridge across Chautauqua Lake. Anyone trying to get from one side of the lake to the other would have to drive up to uh, uh, Mayville and then around the eastern side of the lake in order to make it around to Jamestown. We did have some folks who opposed the program of building a bridge across the lake. The battle ended up in the courts. Long story short, we did get the bridge built and it exists there today. One of the most bitter projects that we undertook was the sewer district. A group had sued the county to try to prevent it from creating the sewer district. We lost the first uh, case, then uh, we conducted another lawsuit, the different plan, which the court did approve. You had raw sewers going uh, into Chautauqua Lake. The creation of the Southern Sewer District was of great benefit in cleaning up the lake. We, we set up rural health clinics. We had a doctor recruitment program. Uh, business extension services uh, uh, was created. We brought uh, airline commuter system to the county, expanded the airport. Rural health clinics were set up in rural, some rural towns and we attracted doctors to those clinics. Yeah, I really like to bring in Bill Parmet's name. If it wasn't for Bill Parmet, I don't think we would have been able to commit many projects. We established the Office for the Aging. Sven Hamar was the first chairman of the Office for the Aging. One of the first projects was we built an apartment house for senior citizens in uh, Mayville. And, uh, and that was one of the first in the, the county. Clean, it was uh, attractive. It, it just led to more positive things being done uh, for the citizens. These were a few things we were involved in in Chautauqua County, uh, but uh, in spite of that, and in spite of the times when I received the uh, phone calls from constituents who, who were unhappy with our whatever moves we had undertaken, I thoroughly enjoyed my experience as a county executive, and, and I'm sure that's true of the other county executives here. Thank you, Greg Peterson. And uh, also want to thank you county executives uh, for uh, picking up whatever projects uh, you felt 
uh, were appropriate uh, to serve the people of Chautauqua County.